Welcome to Material Chef, preparing the most influential materials for your delectation. Today we are going to be looking at a most versatile staple, one that we have relied on for hundreds of years. Wood. Wood is crucial throughout the kitchen, used to make boards and spoons. Have a rummage around and you will find wood in all sorts of unexpected places, often staring you in the face. Or is it under your feet like this delicious bridge over a slightly stagnant river cam? Wood is a wonderfully versatile organic product. Luckily, it can be easily foraged from your back garden. Saw with vigour and perseverance to remove a succulent limb for closer inspection. This fresh sprig of elder seems brittle. Let's speak to an expert. We're in Potter's Crouch Plantation. It's a conifer plantation, as you can see, planted just after the war. The trees were planted for use as wood pulp in newsprint production. The softwood is used in building work generally, light carcassing, kitchen cabinets and fence posts. Typical English woodland, mostly made up of oak, ash, birch, all the sort of species you expect to find in a place such as this. Right, I'm holding a piece of oak here, uh, which is a hardwood, and a piece of pine here, which is a softwood. You can see the difference in the grain structure. The oak is far denser, whereas the pine is far more open. Here's a piece of ash for you to look at. To make this more manageable, grab a circular saw and slice the ash finely. Carve a fillet of ash along the limb and another disc-shaped medallion across the grain. Toss the fillet and medallion onto a plate. Get involved with the wood, bend it, feel it and test it. The medallion, which is cut across the grain, breaks easily. Yet the fillet of the same thickness that was cut with the grain is strong and flexible. It's the grain that makes wood just so good. Now take an even closer look. In this sample, we can see that the wood is a natural composite of very strong, fibrous tubes. When the medallion is bent, these fibres aren't strongly held together and so easily break apart. Whereas the fillet has the fibres running along it, and so it is much stronger because you're trying to break the fibres themselves. You can clearly see these fibres in green wood when you snap a thin branch. A sheet of wood is only ever strong in one direction. If you examine a piece of plywood, it is a sandwich of multiple slivers of wood. Some with fibres running in one direction and others running at 90 degrees. This makes the plywood strong in both directions. So wood is an appetising material, a natural, organic and fibrous option. Flexible, yet strong, and highly adaptable. Tune in next week to satisfy your insatiable appetite for knowledge and dig into what makes the materials we use just so special. Material Chef, brought to you by the Naked Scientists.